okay guys in this video tutorial we'll be talking about the hedgehog pathway which is one of the very important uh, pathway in developmental biology processes in mammal as well as in uh, in arthropods and everyone so hedgehog pathway helps in the development of many different portions of your body like development of brain development of muscle gastrointestinal tract as well as development of uh, your uh, heart and all these things so so let me take a color here so hedgehog pathway uh, named after the molecule hedgehog capital H small h uh, this is a signaling molecule of this whole signal transduction pathway it is named after the signaling molecule so hedgehog is a kind of chemical mediator that was secreted by the developing cell in uh, the larval development in most of the cases because that's how it's discovered it's developed during the larval development and this hedgehog molecule is nothing but a segment polarity segment polarity gene it's a segment polarity protein uh, secreted in during the larval development of drosophila in that case this segment polarity protein turn on certain signaling cascade which helps to ultimately designate during the larval development ultimately designate which is going to be the head and which is going to be the tail not tail i mean the end portion mouth and the opposite portion of the body and also it helps in the segmenting the larval body properly so there are three different kinds of uh, this hedgehog uh, ihh shh and so on so among them shh is the most studied one that's called the sonic hedgehog and in sonic hedgehog is responsible to interact with another gene and another signaling system called wingless okay so this is another signaling system called wingless and that is also a segment polarity gene segment polarity signal cascade which uh, will work together and finally provides the sequential development of the drosophila larva and sequential development of the different uh, body segments of the drosophila larva and it's also uh, true for any other arthropods which uh, who are having different uh, segmentation of their body i mean it's very very important otherwise from where they need to have those legs and which segment won't have any leg and all these things are controlled because you know in arthropods you will see that uh, they always have these legs coming out from the uh, from the upper part of the body not the lower part and that is due to this segment polarity uh, signaling processes so hedgehog pathway is a type of pathway that connects the cells so it's a intercellular signaling pathway in this intercellular signaling pathway uh, different cells will cross talk between themselves and it helps in development of muscle helps in development of lungs helps in development of gi tract and brain and so on and uh, it's true for also in case of mammals so the ideal the very basic uh, representation of the signaling is let's say there are two different proteins onto the surface of a cell one is called patch another one is called the uh, smoothen so patch and smoothen both are there the idea here smoothen is not embedded in the membrane like that so this image is not exactly correct because smoothen uh, is a protein which is inside a vesicle in the cytosol now patch is embedded in the membrane so multi pass protein that is present in the membrane now uh, normally when the signaling is not activated by any uh, hedgehog protein outside in that case patch is present and no signal uh, i mean no signal is received by the target genes those are called the glee target genes because ultimately those genes are controlled by the expression of glee glee is a kind of protein signaling protein that will insert itself inside the nucleus and uh, convey the signal inside the nucleus that is not possible if there is no hedgehog molecule outside now if there is uh, the hedgehog molecule outside because normally glee, glee is inactivated it is inactivated inside the cytosol but now once the hedgehog molecule binds with the patch uh, receptor onto the surface in that case it will bring this vascularized or vesicularized not vascular vesicularized uh, a smoothen protein embedded to the membrane so this vesicle will come and, and fuse with the membrane and as a result smoothen will be embedded onto the membrane after binding of this 
uh, hedgehog and then finally this mudan can activate this glee proteins and once this mudan activate the glee protein then glee will go inside the cell and uh, inside the nucleus and it will turn on the glee target genes and ultimately those genes will help uh, the cell to develop the different organs to develop properly and that's what we can see so as you can see it here this is patch this is mudan and the patch action is always been regulated and it's, it's regulated by another protein called shh which inhibits the functionality of patch and blocks the patch to bind with any 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 of the hedgehog signaling molecule now the thing is glee is not directly activated by smoothing because there are other intermediary proteins to control that like gsk3 beta pk you know gsk3 beta is also a component for wnt signaling pathway we have already studied that if you haven't studied it you can go back and watch wnt signaling which is also a very important signaling for uh, this type of development and you know gsk3 beta inhibits this whole pathway similarly pka it's also inhibiting this process pka is a protein kinase and that is uh, activated by cyclic amp and cyclic amp by gpcr or g protein coupled receptor signaling is playing a role here though now in this case in different stages as you can see all of them are inhibitory stages that to block the expression of glee protein and this is extremely important because the signaling of smoothing through the glee to ultimately turning on all those genes which will ultimately tell the cell to proliferate and differentiate to become a specific functional functional cell is very very important because all the genes that we see in all our cells are the same whatever genes are present in every cell are the same but still nerve cell functions differently than the muscle cell and the gi cells function differently than the lung cell and that's due to the expression of the cell and that's very very important the expression ability of a cell and that is a hugely important thing and that is controlled by several different uh, of this cell signaling processes and hedgehog pathway is one of them definitely because hedgehog pathway you can see here direct pathway is inhibited by so many different options like gsk3 beta pk sufu so they can all inhibit these things to ultimately not activating this thing but if it is going to activate the only way to activate it is to bind with the shh uh, to attach with there that is a sonic hedgehog there to attach and then finally start uh, this whole signal cascade and finally turn on all these genes turning on uh, i mean activating glee 1 2 and 3 depending upon which kind of hedgehog uh, signaling molecule is binding and then it will turn on all those transcript gene transcription produce mrna and produce proteins and then all those necessary things will start to operate that is the development and differentiation of the specific specific cell type like lungs gi tract cells it's like muscle cells and also neuro neuronal cells so these are the different development that is associated with hedgehog pathway so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and also share this video a lot thank you